meeting in the south suburbs tonight as Township Supervisor Tiffany Henyard tried to conduct business as usual. WGN's Jenna Barnes has details. Thornton Township Supervisor Tiffany Henyard is finding a way to spend money that trustees say they intentionally did not approve. One describing it to me tonight as a shell game. I don't disagree with it being called a shell game. The question is, who's involved with all the moving parts of this shell? Now, I know we want to always blame Big Tiff, but she is not that intelligent to be able to do all this by herself. Let's see what the heck it is that they're talking about. Is there a motion to approve the gospel fest? Mm -hmm. Motion to fail. All right. Is there a motion to approve the house fest? Mm -hmm. Event after event denied for Thornton Township Supervisor Tiffany Henyard. under an ordinance designed to rein in spending. Don't residents love the events that we do here at Thornton Township. And prior to me, y'all have always had events. So I don't understand why it's a problem now that Tiffany Henry is the supervisor. The trustees say they won't green light the events because there's no approved budget yet. Can't continue to spend money without that in place. Now, all of a sudden, he want to talk about not having that in place. You said at the last meeting, Chris, that you would let her know, you know, that was cute then. But now a whole another month later, after three to four months, now you still don't have a budget. I know that people will act like that's not a big deal. It is a big deal. If you don't know what you're working with, then how the hell do you know what you're spending? And that puts the whole town in jeopardy. So him and the rest of the trustees should have been got this daggone budget, looked at, verified and executed, put out there, whatever it is. After three to four months, who is in charge around here? All of these daggone government entities that don't know what they're spending, that don't know where the money resides, that don't know what to do as far as spending and cutting until something is wrong, all need to be investigated. The most recent cost causing concern, Henyard's Taste of Thornton Township last month. WGN Investigates obtained records that show singer Kiki Wyatt was paid $30,000 to sing for 30 minutes. Rapper Jay Holiday made 20000 for a half hour set. When you factor in staff, equipment and other expenses, the total cost is at least $85,000, which is lower than WGN Investigates initially reported. We're going to go ahead and give them credit for admitting their mistake because we most definitely was asking, child, where the rest of that $35,000 difference come from? But still raising questions. Trustees voting not to approve thousands of dollars in expenditures for Taste of Thornton and other Henyard events, money that's already been spent. A lot of that spending was done on credit cards. We just don't agree with so much being put on credit cards. And then also we recently, it looks like even stuff that we voted not to pay then was put onto credit cards. So it's just kind of almost like a shell game. And while you're saying it's a shell game, I don't disagree, but there's a lot of shenanigans that are going on and it's not just Big Tiff or she's being allowed to do it or no one was checking her or people don't know what the rules are or they just were getting some sort of a benefit out of it. So they just allowed it to be whatever it is slash was. All of this needs to be investigated. You cannot put the same people back in to guard the same hen house, no pun intended, and then think that you're going to get something different. Unfortunately, but they don't have unanimous support from residents. Because there isn't a budget passed that maybe they should do the same for their salary. Suspend the salary until they pass a budget. That budget could be coming soon. Trustees say it's under review by an accountant. Now, they also voted once again to put Henyard's name on a credit card despite her protest, they say, for accountability. In South Holland, Jenna Barnes, WGN News. I know that people want to blame Tiffany for everything, everything that goes wrong, everything that's bad, everything that looks crazy, everything, everything, everything. And while I do believe that she has her place in all of this, I just don't think that she is the only one. I don't think that she is alone, not even just with Dots, not even just with KP, not even just with Keith Freeman, but with trustees. I'm just going to say it, but with trustees. How did this go on for so long unchecked? How is it that they're just now implementing parameters, credit cards? I, I don't know what the hell else, how else you call it or whatever. But the point is, is that it's almost time to reelect a new supervisor and new mayor. And this is just being addressed right now. If the people in government don't know government, then what good are they? And how is it? 
that no one is outraged or has issue with any of them. Everybody thinks that they're their savior or whatever, and they're helping out with Big Tiff. She is not the only one. This is the same thing that happens with, with like R. Kelly. Everybody wants to focus on R. Kelly, R. Kelly, R. Kelly, R. Kelly. He did not do it by himself. He had plenty of help and assistance. There were people there that supported him, that knew what was going on, turned a blind eye, whether they were getting paid, getting kickbacks or notoriety, closeness to him, whatever the reason was, he was not the only one, but he was definitely the fall guy. And while I am not taking up for Big Tiff, there's, you know, there's no way that I'm taking up for her. But as these elections are coming and as these people's seats are about to be expired, I guess is the word that you call it. And people are thinking about voting in the same exact people that help them to get into the situation. And lest we not forget that the citizens have their place. I understand that they mad. I understand that they don't want to hear it. They don't want to do it. I understand that your option was this, that, and a third. But more people need to go ahead and get involved. More people need to come out to these meetings. I know that everyone thinks that this is enough people. But I do, I do believe that there are plenty of People who are not involved, who are not participatory, who are not out here vocalizing with a town speaking specifically for Dalton. That's 20 some thousand. I don't know how much the township is. Let's just say it's five times the amount of Dalton because it's so big. Where are the where is the outrage? Where are those people to be out in the streets saying we don't like it? We can't stand it. Where is the protest at Pritzker's office, at Raul's office, at the DNC, at the door of Village Hall in Thornton Township, protesting, we're not going to take it. No, we ain't going to take it. And I know people think that she can't get reelected. And I know that people are waiting on the FB damn I, but know that your elected officials in the whole daggone state of Illinois, and not just Illinois, but that's what we're talking about right now, are complicit with this as well, in my opinion, allegedly. With not saying anything, not doing anything, not even coming down to your daggone town to talk to you, to hold a meeting about it, to even hear public comment from you, to even assess the situation, to even come down there and say, no, we're going to meet. They don't even come down here to say, Big Tiff, stop these shenanigans with not allowing people to come in for meetings, trying to disrupt things. Um, trying to have meetings upstairs where you know damn well it's not enough room, get a bigger place, go to a rec room, anything, nothing, nothing, nothing that speaks volumes. Saying nothing is speaking whether people want to believe it or not. Now, I know that what's going on in this small section of the whole state of Illinois might not be a big deal to everyone else. But to all those everyone else's, specifically the ones in Shadam Cago, who are whining, complaining, mad, and I don't even know if they're protesting anymore about migrants, that situation, the money they're giving. And now there's a billion dollar. I don't know. I don't know. But all these all these things that are in these people's faces, all this alleged corruption and, and it just doesn't seem like that there is enough people out here to say, we're done with this. It's time for something different. I mean, if after that tax situation with the amount of the property taxes doesn't do it, I don't know what will. But child, what do I know? I'm just a, a YouTuber that plays a lawyer sometimes on YouTube, child. Call me Auntie Ruckus. Y'all let me know what you think. As usual, please make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe if you are new. I'll see you all in the next one. Because y'all got false narratives out there, and y'all should be ashamed of y'all stuff. Y'all black. Y'all are black. And y'all sitting up here beating and attacking on a black woman that's in power. Superman. You're going to jail. You're, You're going, going to jail, jail. Gatto. Unass that seat. Unass that seat. Unass that seat. To express my deepest gratitude to Tiffany Henyer and her team for their commendable efforts to better our community. Miss, come here. <laughs> Shut your stupid ass up. <laughs> say that, folks. Let me say it. Let me say it.